Hi, my name's Amy and I make things. In today's video, I made all the things. Hang around and let's see what happened. This week has been insane. First, thank you. Thank you for all your encouragement. Thank you for all the positive feedback from last week and from my video yesterday about why not to buy a jelly roll, but also why you might want to. Let's get right into it because there is so much to show. I've got some help from my husband Casey here. He's gonna help me hold things up because I'm short. <laughs> and I'll just tell you what happened. My calendar this week had something every single day and I never do that. I hate that. I hate to have to be somewhere every day. And this week, I had to be somewhere every day and twice on Monday. It was almost all quilt related, which I love, but it was a lot and I still got a lot done. Let's start with the good stuff. I finished all four tops for the kids. I know, be impressed. I'm only sort of kidding, I'm rather impressed. And I know you won't believe me, but I've got proof I've got the quilts here. Are you just gonna like ghost walk it behind me? <laughs> we have quilt number one. Keep coming. <laughs> and it has a red border. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Quilt number two. With the blue border. And quilt number three. With the gray border. And there's also the quilt for my niece with the Peppa Pig fabric. So those are done. They're finished. Well, the tops are complete. The backing is ordered. Minky backing for everyone. The three baseball quilts, the Braves quilts, came from this book, Perfect Ten Quilts, by It's So Emma from Fat Quarter Shop. And they are French vanilla quilt. The only modification that I made that I can recall is I put a colorful border on each of the quilts so that the boys can tell them apart. The Peppa Pig quilt is from Perfect Five Quilts. Also, it's So Emma, Back Quarter Shop. And it is the Icebox Cookie Quilt. And I made several design changes to this one, basically just in the positioning of the layout and in the way I sorted colors. Other than that, the construction is completely by the book. Everything's good to go, and hopefully they'll be quilted before the end of the month. In the process of completing those quilt tops, I made 10 additional green and neutral leaders and enders checkerboard blocks, and I, I'll get those put together eventually. Now any reasonable person would be happy with that and think, wow, I did a lot. Yay me. If you've noticed anything at all about me or if you know me at all, you know I'm rarely a reasonable person. So while I'm sewing like a mad woman, I decide I'll keep sewing like a mad woman. I mentioned last week the stretch goal of getting the puzzle mystery quilt quilted and bound. Actually, I think I just mentioned getting it quilted, which I did. And I'm not gonna show too much because this is a gift for a friend and I don't wanna spoil the surprise, but it, it does have binding on and I will finish hand stitching that down this evening. And again, a reasonable person would think, wow, you met your stretch goal, fantastic. Not a reasonable person. At this month's Modern Quilt Guild, I picked up three small quilts and volunteered to bind them for someone else who had made them and quilted them. So while I had that purple binding out for the Puzzle Mystery Quilt, which was leftover backing from quilting that project, I went ahead and applied the binding. The first step to these three quilts. I also got some hand quilting done on my super secret project and that was all great. And at that dental appointment that I mentioned last week, I did actually make some progress on the knitting. Here again is where any reasonable person would say, oh my gosh, that's so much. And it is. 
and I'm not a reasonable person. At one of my four quilting events that all piled up this week, two bees, a sewing club, and a guild meeting, my friend Kim brought me an entire large zippy bag full of the cutoffs from her flip and sew corners, the project she's working on. While I was stalling and not wanting to progress on one of the projects that I knew I needed to do, I sewed together approximately 11 billion half square triangles. And I'll get those pressed and trimmed eventually. I'm checking my list. Three Braves quilts, quilt tops, the Peppa Pig quilt top, the Puzzle Mystery quilt, quilted and binding in process, ten more green leader and ender blocks, approximately 11 billion half square triangles, hand quilting moved forward, binding applied to three donation quilts, progress on the sock, ordered the backing. Oh, and I did some work on pulling imagery so that I can pull fabrics for these projects as well. If you're wondering how I get so much done or got so much done, make no mistake, I know that I can work at this pace for about two weeks and then my brain hits a wall and I need a break. So I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break for the next week and just working on knitting and handwork and maybe those 11 billion triangles that require very little thought. But extreme caution because you have to have your hand quite close to that rotary cutter. Guys, I'm tired. <laughs> and it came at a price. I broke a nail in a rather dramatic way and I will spare you the gory details. There were no needles. There were no rotary cutter. It was not that kind of an accident. But it does hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that feel awfully silly. The short answer to how I get so much done or got so much done is I sewed like a mad woman. The longer answer is I have really good systems set in place. And I'll go into that in some future videos about how I organize my time and my systems and my processes so that I can make the most efficient use of the time and energy that I have. I'm looking around and I hope that's everything. I think that's everything. If I forgot something, I don't know what it could possibly be. A couple of hints and ideas about what is coming up on the channel. I have some videos planned, like I said, about scheduling and making efficient use of your time. I have lots of ideas about using your scraps, sorting, managing, processing, using scraps. This book is part of that plan. I hope to do some videos about how I choose color and what my color inspiration is. Casey and I will be on the road next week traveling and visiting family. I have a video planned, a pack with me video, walking through what I'm going to take with me and why. So those are the things that I completed this week. I'm tired. <laughs> Those are the things that are on the radar, things that are coming up. We'll see how it goes. Your encouragement and your kind words and your jokes. And thank you guys so much for telling me the stories about your special projects and what quilting has meant to you. Oh, wow. Reading the stories has meant everything. Share with me in the comments what's on your radar. And I want to know when you're against a deadline, be it travel or... Um, holiday deadline perhaps. Do you work faster, better, more efficient, or do you shut down and say, you know what, no it's too much? Tell me if it motivates you or if it stifles you. I want to know what inspires you and what energizes you and where you get stuck. Let's talk about it and let's encourage one another. Do me a favor and click all the buttons, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and don't forget, you make the world more beautiful just by being in it. I'm Amy, and I'll see you next time.